with our uniform police uh, court officer, Charles Beck, our court clerk, Sharon Sheffer. We have two court attendants here today, Ralph King and Walter Zemanski. And you will notice we have a senior court reporter, Melissa Matthews, who will be taking down everything that is being said here today. This is because this is an official term of court. Making sure that all of your paperwork is proper and complete, we have the clerk of the county of Schenectady, John Woodward, who is sitting alongside of me. And most importantly, for this proceeding, we are joined by Larry Clancy, representing the United States government, citizenship, and immigration. We are also pleased and proud to have with the ladies auxiliary to the Schenectady VSW Post 357, together with Jim Wilson, and they will distribute some patriotic materials to you, and each of our new citizens will get a new American flag. Additionally with us today are Art Broussard and Brian Quayle, who are from the Schenectady County Board of Elections, and I'd like to welcome you too, welcome being here. As I stated earlier, this is an actual term of the Supreme Court, and we will now begin the formal proceedings. I will call upon Larry Clancy, who will petition the court for your admission as citizens of the United States of America. So, I invite you to now listen to Mr. Clancy. Your Honor, on behalf of the United States government, Department of Homeland Security, I present to this court 72 adult candidates for admission to the United States citizenship. Each has been examined by the Bureau of Citizenship and Immigration Services and has been found to meet the requirements of the nationality statute. Is appearing before this court to take the oath of allegiance as the final step in that procedure. Ten of those present have filed petitions to this court requesting a formal change of name. In each case, the government would concur and request that the court grant such petitions. Your Honor, on behalf of the United States government, I respectfully move that those candidates present be admitted to the oath of allegiance as prescribed by law. First of all, Mr. Clancy, your petition is granted. I'd now like to say a few words to my fellow Americans. My fellow Americans, congratulations on becoming citizens of the United States of America. What an honor and privilege it is to share this day with you. I know that each of you have a personal story and journey as to how you are standing here today, taking your oath and participating in this naturalization ceremony. Although there are various reasons for what led you to be here today, I have to believe that you all share one reason for wanting to become a U.S. citizen. That is to better your lives and the lives of your families. You have taken a courageous and life-altering step to ensure the future of your families in freedom and justice, and I applaud each one of you. <coughs> Undoubtedly, you now have the benefit to enjoy the great prosperity, educational choices, and economic security, which our great country affords each and every one of us. But I stand here today to remind you of something else. Never forget that you and your families are now citizens of a society devoted to the idea of justice. To me, this means that no matter what your economic status is in life, never forget to extend a helping hand to the less fortunate. Citizenship and morality go hand in hand. As a U.S. citizen, you have many rights and responsibilities. I encourage all of you to participate in our governmental project process. Register to vote. Never miss voting in any election, whether it be a federal, state, local, or school election. Let your voice be heard when you disagree or perhaps agree with legislative proposals. Write your representatives when you feel compelled to do so. Take advantage of public forums to get your ideas across to your fellow neighbors. <coughs> you not only bring to the table your experiences in this country, but your experiences from your native country. Our legislators can learn from your vast and worldly life experiences. Be willing to serve on a jury when called to do so. Jury duty is a cornerstone of our criminal and civil courts. When you are wronged by another, Pursue your legal remedies. 
Place your trust in the courts. We will do our best to resolve your problem. As I am scanning this room this morning, I recognize that you will bring additional diversity to our community, and I thank each one of you for that. Each of you have customs and traditions that I encourage you to share with the